Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The adjust sharpness command gives you precise control over the overall sharpness of an image. To use this command, select Enhance Adjust Sharpness from the menu bar to open the Adjust Sharpness dialog box. To see a preview of the changes you make, ensure that the Preview checkbox at the top of this dialog box is checked. To apply the default amount of sharpening, select the default choice from the preset dropdown. To specify custom sharpening, change the available settings instead. Use the amount slider to set the amount of sharpening applied or type a percentage into the adjacent text box. This increases or decreases the contrast between edge pixels. Use the radius slider or text box to set the width of the sharpening effect in pixels. This determines the number of pixels surrounding the edge pixels that are also affected by the sharpening. The Remove drop-down lets you select the type of blur to remove from the image. Your choices are Gaussian Blur, Lens Blur, or Motion Blur. For the Motion Blur choice, you can also enter an angle into the adjacent text box or use the angle dial to the right to select an angle. To set the sharpening for shadows and highlights, click the shadows slash highlights arrow if it is compressed to expand that section. In both the shadows and highlights sections that appear, you can set the same three settings. Use the fade amount slider to set the amount of correction to apply. Use the tonal width slider to set the tonal width to adjust. A value of 0 is narrow and a value of 100 is broad. Finally, use the radius slider to set the scale size for corrections. To save your custom sharpening settings as a new preset you can apply to other pictures later, click the Preset drop-down at the top of the dialog box, and then choose the Save Preset command. In the Save As dialog box that then appears, type a name for the preset, and then click the Save button. To apply your saved preset later, you can simply select its name from the preset drop-down. If you ever need to load a saved preset into another instance of Elements, you can click the preset drop-down and choose the Load Preset command to open the Load dialog box. Here you can select a sharpening preset to load, and then click the Load button to load a saved preset. To delete a saved custom sharpening preset, click the preset drop-down and choose the Delete Preset command to open a Delete Preset dialog box. Choose the name of the sharpening preset to delete from the dialog box, and then click the Delete button. Then click the Yes button in the confirmation dialog box that appears. After applying your desired sharpening settings, click the OK button in the Adjust Sharpness dialog box to apply them to the current image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.